Greetings and welcome. I'm Stan Houston for the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience, a part of an international podcast brought to you by TCENglobal.org. That's the Christian Entrepreneur Network. Would you like to be worth a million? Certainly a catch question, maybe even a trick question, but there's a very serious and very possibility side to it. And if you'll give me just a few minutes, I'll explain it to you and encourage you to start making your mark that way. And perhaps it goes along with kind of this trick question. Are you witless or are you witful? Witless or witful? Let's check out what this is all about as we begin this week, the first week in March. I'm Stan Houston. Let's see what we can do with March Madness to make it move into a better space and stage of life. Let's go. And indeed, we are well into March. And as people often say, well, the year is really rushing by. And you know, what is happening is that the uh, space and stage and the uh, pace of our life, no matter who you are, it is picking up. And so it does seem that things move faster because, in effect, we are being forced by the way things are. We are being forced to move faster. And perhaps as someone once said to me, slowing down is now a major achievement. Learning to slow down and take time and be thoughtful is a major achievement in life today. Well, Whatever you think about that, I would like to take a little bit of time to uh, have a conversation that counts and uh, encourage you to do something that I think uh, perhaps may just be helpful to you. Now, as you know, this is a podcast, personal on-demand broadcast. That's where it comes from, personal on-demand broadcast. Just as uh, when Steve Jobs put together the iPod, it was... Uh, individual personal on-demand music. And you see that. You didn't have to go to the record store. You didn't have to listen to a radio station. You could listen to the music you wanted, when you wanted it, and you could listen to it all by yourself. Independent, individual, personal on-demand music. And what has happened is that the regular view of radio, as where you would tune in, to a radio station and you'd listen to whatever was on that radio station. Now what is happening is that the radio is moving into what is called the podcasting phenomenon and that's where literally, and this is not an exaggeration, thousands of people are saying, I'm going to start my own radio station. I'm going to start my own radio program and they're doing just that and celebrities are doing it. Uh, people from Radio and TV are now doing it. It is something that many people are now discovering as a way, an opportunity to do something good for their life, hopefully for others, and perhaps uh, to make it profitable for themselves. And we're going to help you do just that. One of the things we have done at the Christian Entrepreneur Network is right off the bat, we started talking about podcasting long before the network. I was actually talking about podcasting almost a dozen years ago as a possibility and had been experimenting with it for some time. So uh, that's why we are into it. Radio has been a part of our life for many, many years as a international missionary broadcaster, as a broadcaster online and on a variety of radio programs around the world. And now we'd like to bring a little bit of that opportunity to you. So uh, that's what this is all about. Whoever you are, let's say you are a speaker, let's say you are a teacher, let's say you are a business leader, let's say you are a pastor, you are a person whose life and career and reputation 
is enhanced when people know who you are, know your story, and they experience your wit. <laughs> that's right. And that's why I asked you the question, are you witless or are you witful? Now, wisdom, insight, and truth is the term we use. Uh, what it takes, W-I-T, is wisdom, insight, and truth. What it takes are people like you, who through life, through God's experience, through teaching, through mentoring, through the things that have happened to you, you have a bit of God's special wisdom. You have some insight. You have some strength. You have uh, the ability to overcome adversity. And you know how to seek God's purpose and direction in your life and hopefully make life a little more worthwhile and life worth living and something that not only glorifies God but serves the common good. That's who you turned out to want to be. You're not just in it for the, <laughs> someone said, you're in it for others as much as you can be. So we deal with that wisdom, insight, and truth. And here's something that I know, no matter who you are, there is something about you that is uniquely special. God made it that way, and he has endowed you, shown you, perhaps put you through the fire of experience, maybe calamity and tragedy as well as victory. And you've come out with some wisdom, insight, and truth that would be helpful and worthwhile for others. And I'm going to encourage you to do something that people have oftentimes said they wanted to do. Oh, I wish I could write a book, but I don't know how to do that. I would love to be on a radio program and maybe even have my own radio program, but I wouldn't know how to do that. Hey, I think I would love to be my own uh, talk show host on television. Oh, but I could never do that. Well, that's been the problem. The radio, the television, the books, the newspapers, that was all for a select few who uh, somebody else oftentimes picked. And if they didn't pick you, you had no other way to perhaps share the things that uh, you thought were important. Now, all of that has changed. You can write a book. That's right. Uh, you can create a book. It can be a great book. It can be an audio book. It can be a small book. It can be all kinds of books. It could be a broadcast book. You could create a video program. Yes, you can do that almost immediately, right away. And you can put it out there and you'll be one of those people, perhaps, who is able to share the things like a gentleman named Jordan Peterson did, a teacher in a university, but started to share his uh, wisdom, insight, and truth about life on YouTube videos, on radio podcasts, and now has a worldwide audience of people who find that he is worth listening to. And that could be you. Now, if you'll give me just a few more minutes, I'm going to describe what I mean. Now that you understand what it means to be witful, let's talk about that uh, being worth a million. I'm Stan Houston. This is the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience because we want that for you. The Christian Entrepreneur Network, tcenglobal.org, slash contribute now. I would be grateful. Reach out to me at radioedge77 at gmail.com, radioedge77 at gmail.com. We'll be back with Worth a Million <laughs> Just a bit.
obviously you knew that when you saw the title that that was a bit of a catch question or it was probably another scammer. Yeah, all the time, everywhere on the internet, would you like to change the world? Would you like to be worth a million? Would you like to be worth a multi-million? This is the way to get rich and to get rich fast. Of course, the world is full and the World Wide Web is full of those scams. And uh, you were wondering, no, you weren't wondering, you were pretty sure that this is probably just another one of them. But it caught your attention and maybe as a result of that, uh, as I qualified it, you thought, hmm. And then you thought, said, well, let's see what he's talking about. Here it goes. First of all, obviously, I'm not claiming that you're going to make a million dollars. And you notice that I did not say you would be worth a million dollars. Didn't say that. I said, would you like to be worth a million? Well, a million what? <laughs> Is obviously the question you would ask. Now, let me briefly try to tell you where I'm coming from. One of the things that I remember one of my mentors said, if you want to be successful in life, you must pay the full price and you must pay it in advance. If you want to be successful in life in any endeavor, you pay the full price. No success is at discount and you pay it in advance. Then perhaps if you're graced, good fortune, and hardworking, that success will come to you. Now, with that in mind, remember one of my friends who just simply said this to me, you know, if you want to have a million dollars, it would be helpful if you would create Five million dollars worth of value. May I just let that sit on my head again? Stan, if you want to be worth a million dollars, it would help if you would create five million dollars worth of value. Here's what I think that means. Let me just ask you this question. If you could be on the radio with a little program, if you could do a program like this or a video presentation, and uh, it so encouraged another person that they truly changed their life. Maybe it changed their life so drastically that they were contemplating something terrible to take their own life, and it was your message your influence, your care, your compassion, and they didn't do that. Instead, they recovered and went on to a good life and greater things. Would you like to do that? I would. Now, what would that be worth? Think about that now. What would that be worth? If you were working with a young person who was very much on the edge and uh, they kind of turned their life around, what would that be worth? Now you're probably getting it. If you want to be worth a million, you can be. I didn't say you could make a million dollars, but think about it. I now have, among the people who've signed up for all of my online classes, over 20,000 students. Most of them, of course, listened and went on, and they were unchanged. They may have found it interesting. But could it be that in those 20,000 students, there has been things that they have learned, things they have done, things they have changed about their life, that if you add all of that up, it's worth a million. If uh, 20,000 people <laughs> got $50 worth of value, 
from what I said and what I did, hmm, could that be a million? I hope you're getting the point. The way you are worth a million is simply to create value in goods, services, experiences, and things that help people better their lives and better their situation and better their experience and help them to be more successful in their life, in their business, in their relationships with others, in their connection to God, you truly can be worth a million. I'm going to say everybody can. Everybody can do that with the right heart, spirit, mind, and learning how to use the mass master media that is now going out in podcasting, YouTube videos, in the online books, you can all be worth a million. And I would like to help you do just that. I can do it. You can do it. We can do it together. Everybody can be worth a million. And you know what? Who knows what dollars and cents and values and experiences and good things might come to you. You might have a million dollars worth of value come to you. Because you put millions of value dollars out to many, many people. As someone said, Jesus didn't have a lot of money, but he certainly created a lot of wealth. True wealth he created by the millions and billions as the company and the spirit of the incarnate God came into the world and into the lives of others for the past 2,000 years. That's the deal. I'm Stan Houston. I hope you now better understand that you can be worth a million. And right now, your challenge is to find out ways to take the wisdom, insight, and truth that God has given to you and find ways to share it with others without expecting anything back except the privilege and the honor of sharing it with others. Making it worth a million in the lives of perhaps millions of others then you truly are, you really are, worth a million. Now, if this begins to change your life and you start to do some new and powerful things that help you go and grow in life and business and true success and in relationships and experiences and have knowledge and insight and strength you've never had before, how much will that be worth? I'd love to help you. I've been doing this for a long time, and I think I have some gifts that might be helpful and useful to you, and we can help you become a part of the team that will do this worldwide. Please reach out to me at RadioEdge77 at gmail.com, RadioEdge77 at gmail.com, and we'll continue down this path of trying to be worth millions to other people, and then we'll just see how God graces us, and we'll see what happens. Please join me. We're going to have a wonderful time together. All the best and blessings, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.